Chris Chris Price here with Chris Ellsworthy uh, from CL Roblox. Uh, uh, Chris, uh, how's it going here at the show today? Uh, really, really well. Yeah. 3 printing is always a really exciting topic to talk about. Yeah, uh, it is. But particularly with our, with our printer, where we can talk about not just the fact that there's a 3D printer, but it can also transform to many other things. Yep. So what we've developed here, we think it's one of the best 3D printers available on the market right now. Okay. But the head and all the other parts are very much interchangeable in a kind of modular system. Yeah. So today it's made from plastic parts, tomorrow it could be icing and cake, and the next day it could be milling a piece of beef and making electronic parts. Yeah, amazing, amazing. So this is a, this is a little product here that we've written about, actually, Tech, tech Digest. So uh, who, who's actually buying these now then? Well, we get a huge cross section of society buying them. We get everything yeah. from the kind of like really academic engineering and making kind of guys who are used to using rapid prototyping techniques yeah. and really heavily engineering based, right down to the end consumer who just want to make parts for their children's school projects. Okay. Uh, you know, um, we are Lego models, all that sort of thing. So there's, there's a real big society, cross section society. At the moment, yeah. the adoption is just starting to pick up. Just starting. Uh, I think we're on the brim of like this new technology really adopted. Yeah. Uh, so what we're trying to do here is kind of promote the technology itself, not just our printer, so that we can get this kind of kick started. Yeah. Just like any technology, it could take a while to adopt. Of course, of course. And how long have you been in this business then? Well, as a design business, I've been designing products for a decade now. Yeah, yeah. And the, the stand behind you, obviously, is where we sell our 3D uh, power okay. tools. Okay, I'll, I'll just whiz around, get, get this. Okay, so this is, did, did you start with the, with the, with the power yeah. tools? Yeah. A very innovative uh, product called the Power Workshop, which is a, an innovative cordless power tool. Yeah. But we use a lot of uh, prototype techniques to make the prototypes for those machines. Yeah, yeah. So that's where the need for this came from. So we, we started to buy in technology to make our own parts. Yeah. Uh, and we uh, decided that what was on the market was really difficult to use and it required a lot of our own technical expertise to get to work properly. Yeah, yeah. So what we wanted to do is develop a machine which is much more usable by everyone. And I mean, it, it, what we're trying to do is make it so that Joe Bloggs can use it on the street. Yeah, absolutely. And what we're actually doing, we turned out to be, is that engineers want to use the same thing because engineers don't want to spend their time uh, making the machine do what it's meant to do. No, of course. We just want to press print and out it comes. Yeah, yeah. So by trying to design it easy to use, we've yeah. actually captured both sides of the market. Yeah, yeah. And this product here, how much for this? this Send me back then, if I was to come. Um, so the, the normal retail price is around a thousand pounds. Yeah. Uh, and at the show, we're selling them for uh, just under ten percent off. Yeah, yeah. And and you, you said you can print with various materials. I can see here that you've got uh, two two cords of uh, cable. What's it? What, what are the, so um, here's a roll of ABS, and here's yeah. a roll of oh, they're both ABS. It's yeah. actually printing with PLA, which is a much more yes. biodegradable material at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, but because it's an enclosed build area you can control the environment that's been printed in. Yeah. So you can use a, a huge range of plastics to print with, but not yeah. only plastics, because that print head that can uh, process plastic comes off. Yeah. And you can put paste on there, so maybe you want to put icing sugar on there, or you want to put uh, okay. clay, or precious metals. And where do I find the, uh, uh, the, the, the manuals, the, the instructions, how to print the stuff? How, is that readily available? So, uh, if you're talking about the objects to yeah. print, there's, the, there's websites like uh, My Mini Factory, who is a, a huge repository of products, right. which you can automatically download. Yeah. But there's also great new kind of CAD packages, which are very easy to use, yeah, like yeah. Tinkercad, yeah. where you can draw your own content Where you can yourself. design your own. But I'd imagine a lot of people at the bottom end are kind of wanting to print out stuff that they've... Yeah, so, so a good place to start is like downloading content that you want, so yeah. like watch straps, belts, yeah, yeah. Know, you know, hooks for your wall, etc. You can just download. So someone's already done the work for you. Yes. But they're also customizable, so you can download a part and add your own name or make it the correct size for the thing you're trying to do. Yeah, yeah, excellent. I mean, this is a future, isn't it? It really is. I can, it's uh, very exciting. Someone, someone earlier was talking about it, uh, the Starship Enterprise kind of machine where you press a button and anything comes out. Yeah. And this is truly the first step to yeah. that. So you just press a button and out comes the content. I mean, it's, it's not just manufacturing, it's going to revolutionize design. Well, it's going to revolution life in so general. At the moment, the whole of society is based around kind of the original industrial revolution, yeah. where steam trains were able to ship around finished materials and products. Yeah, yeah. What this does is kind of reverses that again. So rather than shipping around China from China, you yeah. will be shipping raw material yeah. to your home, and you're yeah. producing whatever you want from the raw yeah. material. It makes us all into producers, into exactly. Yeah. 
our own little cottage industries potentially. Exactly. Well, okay. We've already started to see the kind of high street where the kind of big brands are kind of failing against smaller companies because yeah. the World Wide Web has connected everyone together. Yeah, yeah. And now someone can be designing a part in Brazil and I can finish it off in the UK when they've gone to bed and someone in Australia can pick okay, it up. Okay, yeah, on. yeah, yeah. So it just brings everyone together and yeah. this kind of thing means that we can all then wake up in the morning and print our yeah. own parts from those designs. Yeah, taking control. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much, Chris. That's no great.